Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am in Palm Springs, California. I came here for a girl's trip and today I have uh, four hours to do a little thrifting. So wish me luck, I'm at Angel View Thrift Store. The belts look off the hook here. Unfortunately, I only found this one that I'm gonna pick up. It is alligator printed and it's Martin Dingman. If I remember correctly, that's a good brand. There's definitely a lot of stuff here that I could make money on, but I'm really trying to be particular. Isn't this guy cute? I just don't want to check a bag if I don't have to. So trying to focus on small things or things that I know I can make over $50 on. If I wasn't traveling, I would probably buy these glasses. I really love them. I think they might be something good, but I'm just afraid they would break in transit and they're a great deal. They're only $8.99 for all of those. These are also really cute. I would buy these if I wasn't traveling. $7.99 for six. They had these two amazing art glass sculptures, this Baccarat crystal cat and this Swedish art glass bull. I decided to pass on the cat because it was 100, but I did buy the bull. Here I am heading into the Goodwill in Palm Desert, California. I'm hoping to find some amazing stuff. Wish me luck. It's pretty great. I got here right when they opened and I, have the whole store to myself. I think there's only other two or three other people in here. Always check the go back racks. Let's see how much it is. Mm, $19.99. Might be for me. I'll try it on. Checking out the handbags. Not really seeing anything that looks super high quality. But this does look like a promising Goodwill. We'll see. Looky here, surprise, surprise. I am at the belts. Nothing really jumped out at me right away, but of course I have to check it out. Ooh, this turquoise suede one. That might be fun. I'm also gonna see if they have them anywhere else. This kind of looks like men's and women's though. color of the week is yellow and look at all these yellow tags in the jewelry case hopefully I find something good so if I buy a lot while I'm traveling I just check the suitcase section at the Goodwill and you can just uh, buy a bag to check hopefully I can find one that's a little bit cheaper than that but then you can just uh, redonate it when you get home Hey there, I'm back from my trip to Palm Springs and oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I was able to hit up a few thrift stores like you saw uh, just a minute ago and I got a couple really great things and a couple other okay things. Uh, I had to be pretty particular because at first I was going to uh, buy a box or a used suitcase to check all of my thrift finds in, but then I wasn't really finding too much and so I just decided to be as particular as possible so that I could fit it all in my carry-on, uh, which I am amazed. I thought that I was maxed out on my carry-on luggage, but I figured out how to work it all in there so I didn't even have to pay to check the bag. Okay, so the first item uh, is probably the most exciting thing, and it is this vintage art glass bowl, bull, B-U-L-L, sculpture. And as you can see, it has this really cool detail on the inside. It is signed. Let's see, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. There you go. And I did pay up for this. I paid $39.99. It is signed uh, Sweden. ACC, there's some other stuff on there. Uh, but I looked up comps on this brand and they were really all over the place. 
uh, but I feel like on Cherish, I can get between two and $300 for this. I think it's just beautiful. It is a nice size. It's in beautiful condition. So I am really thrilled about this find. At the same thrift store, uh, they had this and another item in the case. And the other item was a Baccarat cat, which was super cool. Uh, but it was $99 and the comps... Uh, weren't super great on the cats for some reason. I, I think the comps were under $200 and some had only sold in the $100 range. So I didn't think it was worth paying the $99 for that. Okay, the next item that I got, this was kind of something that I took a chance on. It is this interesting kind of accordion pleat dress. It just looked expensive and unique. And then I looked at the tag and it had a dry cleaner tag on it. And then also the tag is tacked on. The brand, you can't really see it, but it is Mashia, M-A-S-H-I-A-H. And I looked up uh, this brand and there was some pretty high comps. It looks like it's an 80s designer uh, that could be collectible. I don't know what to expect from this exactly. I picked this up at the Goodwill. The other one I got at Angel View Thrift Store. Oh, $8.99. Hmm, I thought it was less than that, but $8.99. Still, I'm sure that I can uh, make some money on this. I'm going to do a little more research, but there was um, some listings in the up to a thousand for that uh, designer. Of course, they were more like ball gown, pretty fancy items. Uh, but I'm I'm sure I can still get you know fifty sixty dollars for it. Okay, so here are the slightly less exciting items. But you guys know me; I love buying belts. And when I'm short on space, I this is something you can pick up and roll up and put in your shoes or your purses. So the first one is this turquoise swelled suede belt, and it is by Jagger or Jaeger. Uh, this was a pretty expensive brand in the 60s and 70s. I think I paid $3 for that. A men's kind of reptile print belt. This was in nice condition. It's genuine leather. It was $4.19. Uh, you guys saw in the video that that Angel View thrift store had a ton of belts. This is a J. Jill belt and it just kind of had a unique buckle. I like picking up these kind of uh, thread through buckles. They tend to do well. This was also, all the belts were $4.19 at that Angel View thrift store. And this is the Martin Dingman leather belt. This is also uh, that mock crock print. And there is the brand. Uh, his stuff is quite expensive new. And I have sold some of his items before for a great prices, $50, I think. And then this is just a black mock croc print belt and it is Lauren Ralph Lauren. I believe this was also $4.19. And then this is the other really exciting item that I got. And stay tuned uh, because after this, I do have a little bit of footage, maybe a minute or two of uh, pictures from my trip and some scenery. Uh, it was just so great to catch up with some of my friends from college. And I stayed an extra day and rented a car uh, so that I could go thrifting because most of them weren't um, <clears throat> into thrifting, at least, you know, like I am. So this is a pretty exciting find, I hope. This is John Varvados and his leather jackets retail in the $600 range. And I thought this had really cool details on it. I did pay up for it. I paid $24.99. Uh, the bad thing about this is that it does have a couple of little bleach spots right there. Do you see that? But I still think I'm going to try and work on these and see if I can get them uh, to look any better. And then I'll put a clip at the end of the video uh, showing if I got them to look better. But I still think even with those little spots, I should be able to get minimum $100 for it. Because when you wear it, they're really not that no noticeable and it is a gorgeous jacket. This is a men's size 50. So I think that's a large or extra large. I'll have to uh, look it up. But otherwise, this is a gorgeous jacket. 
Um, you know, I'm not sure if the rental car ended up costing me about $100 plus gas. Uh, my friend was gracious enough to let me stay for free the extra night at her uh, vacation home there in Palm Desert. We were so lucky to have this beautiful home to stay at. Uh, but it did cost me about $120 to stay that extra day. So I do think I will make enough to make up for that and maybe make another $100 or $200. So yeah, it was worth it. It was fun. I got to do this little video for you guys and uh, check out the thrift stores and prices. So mainly I was shopping in Palm Desert, which I discovered was totally different than Palm Springs, um, or the area is quite a bit different. Uh, Palm Springs has more of a retro kind of, um, I don't know what the right word is, kind of edgy feel to it. And Palm Desert is definitely more bougie and fancy the area. There's like country clubs and golf courses every mile and um, really fancy designer stores in the downtown, just really ritzy. So I decided to focus on going uh, shopping in Palm Desert, particularly because that's where we were staying too. Uh, I didn't find that the prices were outrageously higher than what I'm used to seeing. Actually, some of them were cheaper than what I'm used to seeing. I do think that the particularly the leave the angel view thrift stores it did seem like they did online research to price their items uh, because they did have some jewelry cases and other things with higher priced items like this art glass bowl that i got but overall i wasn't shocked by the pricing and had i had more time i only had about five hours to thrift had i had more time and more space i think that i could have found a lot of stuff because i didn't really look through the clothes that much okay well i hope you guys will stay tuned and watch my little um snippet with stuff from my trip we went to joshua tree and um I guess that was really the only sightseeing that we did. We did a lot of relaxing by the pool and dinners and just catching up. It was really great. Okay, so stay tuned and I will try and work on that jacket and put a little clip at the end so you can see if I can make those uh, spots look better and I'll try and do a before and after uh, picture. Okay, thanks so much for watching. The first day we just really enjoyed each other's company, took a, a walk around uh, the neighborhood. My friend's vacation home is in a beautiful area with country clubs and beautiful scenery. We lounged by the pool, it was 100 degrees and just really soaked up the sun. Had a few drinks of course. Uh, made a cheese plate and it was just so great to catch up with my friends from college. That night we went out to a really cute restaurant called Sands. I really loved all the colors in the restaurant. It was, you know, pink and green and vibrant. We just had so much fun. The food was delicious. Of course, we got lots of pictures of the group. Oh, the drinks were so delicious. Here's a little clip of us trying to do a, a boomerang, which was pretty funny. <laughs> Took another picture in the lobby. This restaurant was next to a hotel. Then we headed into this hilarious bar. There were so many characters there. The next day we went to Joshua Tree, which was nothing like I expected. It was so beautiful there and it's just a huge park with so much scenery. Pretty desolate and untouched, uh, beautiful rock formations and all the Joshua Trees, of course. Just really a great experience with friends. We did a little bit of hiking and of course took more cute pictures. We all uh, held this rock up just for fun.
It was really hot that day though, so we got tired out. That night we went to another wonderful restaurant. There was a great band playing. It was just so fun, delicious food. Such a wonderful trip. Thank you for watching.